can turn the How end weird is down. that? Did they send you a, a penguin though? Did you get a penguin? No. What, a chocolate bar? No. Oh. <laughs>
and then the hardest bit's getting in behind holding the nut while you screw the bolt in but yeah we'll give it a go just using a metal bit uh, five mil <laughs> Right, so that's the bracket all mounted up with our uh, custom holes that we've drilled, leveled up. We've got this uh, part of the wiring loom, which we're going to have to figure out what to do. But we're going to get everything mounted. So we're going to mount the oil cooler, mount the hoses, and then see where this fits best without uh, obviously pulling it or stretching it or anything like that. And we might end up drilling uh, some new holes for uh, the brackets there, the clips or we might end up um, cable tying it somewhere out of the way but yeah we'll see when we come to that <clears throat> for now we got this which drops in there and then you've got some bolts um, I don't know if you can notice but the Mishimoto M is upside down <laughs> so I don't know it's a Wishimoto one, maybe. <laughs> but so I don't know, maybe just to mount it back to front, and then you don't see anything. Or would you? I don't, I'm not sure. Will you actually see it? <clears throat> if I put that on that way and the bumper on, you might not even notice. I don't know. I'll have a think about it. Might just put it, put my Wishimoto oil cooler on that way. <laughs> But yeah, so I got these bolts, gonna bolt that on now. So there's just two others to put on the back, so I'll get them on and then we'll look at uh, draining the oil and putting on the sandwich plate and filter and then piping it in. Yeah. Right, the messy bit. Oh, that's quite dirty. No, we only did it not that long ago. Right, so we're going to take the filter off now. It's all drained off, although not a lot came out, which is weird. I don't know if it's because of the way it's jacked, but we've maybe got like two litres out or something. And there should be about five in there. <laughs> but, uh, so we're going to drop the oil filter out. Now we've done this, I've done the oil on it maybe two, three times since I've had the car. And every time I do the oil, it, on like this or on my motorbikes or on any other vehicle, just hand tighten the filter you don't need to like some people go mad with wrenches and stuff and but you lit you're only supposed to hand tighten it and then it means when it comes off when you want to pull it off you just like a good yank with the hand and it's off again without struggling and we've had them before where you've had to knock a screwdriver through it and then try and like whack it off and stuff and there's just no point it just do it t nice and tight with your hand and then it's ready for next time when you want to change the oil again He says, <laughs> so. Right, so you take your sandwich plate and you've got these uh, connectors 
they're like fully movable and stuff. They've already got the washers on. Uh, just tighten them up. So you want your rubber on this side and then they, these are going to point away so that when it goes on the car the hoses are going to do a big loop around here and then back through here and then you just strap it all up underneath there. Right, so the sandwich plate goes straight on like that. Touch the line. Uh, the bolt goes on. So you got your two hoses, they're both different lengths, obviously one, the longer one is to use on the longer point and then uh, loop it round. So we're going to get them on now. like that so I think we're gonna have to go on top of this We do the uh, oil filter now, make sure that all goes on. Like I say, we just go hand tight with that, and then when we do an oil change, Come out nice and easy. Yeah, that's that. And now you're gonna have to cable tie all these bits together. Um, and then nip everything up. Right, when these get strapped together, uh, it's wanting to push it over here, but this is in the way. So we're gonna just cut this section out here. Um, and that gives it a nice little slot for these hoses to go into. Phil's come to help, now we're finished. Now <laughs> you've done it all? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah. I like it. Good job. Just filling her up. Fill it up, start it up, bumper on. Looks all right, doesn't it? Looks smart, doesn't it? Nice looking kit. Yeah. And bolt on job. Yeah. When? Oh, the home's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It means you're a W. Which is, so it's not a mission mode. <laughs> it's a, it's a wishy mode. <laughs> Why is it upside down? That's brilliant. This is not brilliant. That's really funny. You would never know. You wish you had a no Yeah. <laughs> right.
We're going to put the bumper back on, leave the under tray off, and go for a spin, build up some more pressure. And we can see if there's any leak. Got any uh, gaffer tape? What for? Just gaffer it, gaffer it in place, and then you can just put your bolts on, can't you? No, it's, it slides in. Oh, does it? Is yeah. it posh? You'll see. It's posh, is it? These posh Nissans. What are we doing? I'm grabbing the bumper. What are you doing? How do I know if it's on right, Sean? Talk to me. Hold on. Oh yeah. Oh. Well, I'm in the right place, I think. Oh, no. Just whether it, does it go? Yeah, you're lined up. Aren't yeah, you? I'm on it. Yeah. Look, look at me. I'm in. I'm in. That's it. Give me some top bolts. Uh, no, no, just push pins. Oh, are they? And did you break all uh, as well? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, yeah, go on. Oh, we're locked, we're down one. We're down one. Thank you. So behind there, all that extra space is where, when it gets supercharged, that's where the intercooler goes. The intercooler's quite close to the rad, right? Yeah, but when people fit the intercooler, they have to cut parts of this off. All right. I don't know if that's for the piping and stuff though, maybe, because of how obviously it gets quite tight in there, doesn't I it? I think I saw some with some like nice grills or you just go open grill. Open grill. Badger hole. The Wishimoto sell black one. Uh Wishimoto uh, yeah. I mean, they asked me if I wanted a black or a silver. And I wanted the silver because it had the black right in. <laughs> and it turned out that it's And then it turns out that it's upside down. <laughs> yeah. You could just spray it black though, couldn't you, when you intercool it? That's first world problems for you. Yeah.